just for fun, let's try to do stand us cyanide together so you can see what the other one would look like. Stand us would be tin 2 plus and a cyanide. So that would be SNCN2. So that's the second one I wrote is stand us cyanide or tin 2 cyanide. All right, let's try some more. Okay, V, you see V, that's a metal. It's specifically a transition metal, but V doesn't have a Latin equivalent. So we're gonna name this in English. Uh, so this is Vandium, it's a first name as is, that's what we've been doing so far. First name when there's a transition metal is as is, unless you choose to name it in Latin, if that's possible. What's the charge on Vandium? Five. Five, so I'll put a capital V for five, and then the second name is Hydroxide. Because it's the Hydroxide of I. So Vandium 5 Hydroxide. Uh, let's try... Another one, uh, okay, let's do Fe C2O4. Let's try that one. Okay, what's the C2O4 called? That's an oxalate ion, that's perfect. That has what charge? Two minus. Two minus. So the iron has two plus. Okay, if the iron's two plus, is that the higher or the lower charge? Iron is two and three, so it's a lower charge. So you could either name this uh, iron uh, two oxalate, or what would be the Latin equivalent? Fair us, the lower one. So I'll just put it here, fair us. Oxalate is the other possible way to name it. Does the Roman numeral always correspond to the charge? Yeah, the Roman numeral is the oxidation state of the metal, definitely. Yeah, that's what we're indicating. So because it can have transition metals, can have more than one. How's that feeling on these? You want to do yeah, more a, ionics? Um, it doesn't matter if everyone else does. Anybody else want to do more ionics? Totally fine with me. Sure, I'll do a few more. Let's see how we're feeling. Uh, let's get crazier, I guess. Uh, and, uh, okay, let's just categorize this. What category is this one? Oh, I better put it to you. It's ionic. There's no metal in this one, but if you see this, you think ionic. So the ammonium puts it in the ionic category, even though there happens to be no metal. So the first thing is ammonium. It's his name as is. It's the only polyatomic cation you know. The second one is called what? Thiosulfate. Its name is as is. Okay, so first and last name go down as is. Uh, let's try a couple more. Let's do, uh, let's do that one. Okay, what's the name of the CRO4? That's a chromate, just the chromate. The dichromate is CR207, so this is just chromate. Uh, and then you see the transition metal here. What charge is on it right now? The chromate is minus two, so that must make this plus three to make a plus six and minus six. Is that the higher or lower charge? Higher. higher. Gold is either three or one. So this is gold, uh, in this case three, chromate. Or you could have called it or 
it, 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 because oh. it's the higher. Yeah, Is that okay? Works. Auric chromate or gold three chromate. Uh, let's see if I can come up with another one. Uh, MgClO2. Again, an ionic compound. The first name is as is. There's no transition metal. So magnesium. Oops. The second name, what is ClO called? Hypochlorite. Yeah, that's right. So this is magnesium hypochlorite. And just to review those, if you need it, there's ClO, and this could be any halogen, ClO2, ClO3, and ClO4. What's a halogen? A halogen is anything in the 7th or 17th depending on your perspective, column on the periodic table. Right. So fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetine, I guess would theoretically go in there, but there's less than an ounce of acetine known on the earth. So it's not very common. But uh, the first one, so this could be a fluorine or bromine or whatever. This is hypochlorite, or with the iodine, hypoiodite, or the bromine, hypobromite. This is just chlorite, no hypo. So chlorite or bromite or iodite. This one is with the AT ending. So chlorate or bromate or uh, iodate. And this one would be with the per prefix. So per chlorate, per uh, iodate or per bromate. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. How about for permanganate? Permanganate kind of looks like this one, but you don't know any other manganates, manganate uh, ions. But it, it matches this one, so this is called permanganate. So it's just for permanganate. It's just for permanganate, yeah. It's a really common ion that you actually use in lab.